Hey, what's going on guys, it's Jazz. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys a rough breakdown on how to rig up these uh, Immortal Flyers. Here's how it's pretty much gonna come in your kit. There's gonna be a five pack of right wings, a five pack of left wings, these carbon fiber pins, these rubber hook retainers, and then your hook rig right here. Um, so first thing you're gonna do is place the wings in. There's a groove on the right and the left side of the bait that's a hard plastic that you can see right here. You're gonna grab your right wing and you're gently gonna curve it at the base just like so and press it into that groove on the right hand side. You're gonna press it down in gently and you'll push it to the back of the slot just like so. And then there's a hole on the top of the bait that goes through that plastic and through the wing and it'll keep it in place. You drop your pin in and press it all the way to the bottom. These pins can be a little bit sticky at times and you'll just grab a pair of pliers or anything flat and gently give it a tap to go down in like so. You'll do the exact same thing on the left hand side and just again gently curve it right at the base, press it into the groove as far back as it can go just like so. You'll get your pin, drop it right down in place and it's held in there, it's not going anywhere. So that's pretty much how you get the bait rigged up. You can do it in less than a minute, your hands aren't getting sticky or smelly or anything like that. And this is good to go. We're gonna get our hook rig set up. Here's our hook rig right here. It's a 400 pound leader with stainless crimps, uh, a 11 aught Jobu and a six aught treble hook. So this is a premium hook rig. There's no need to, to change out the gear that you have. What we have provided is great. Um, on the back of the bait, you can see right here, there's a hook channel that was specially uh, I guess created for this hook rig and the hooks will press right into the top of the bait. So you're going to feed the leader through this hoop on the head and you'll bring the hook rig right up here and with the the eyelet of the jobu you'll line it up in the groove right there and you're going to press it right down right down in the groove just like so. With this treble hook you're gonna run it down the back of the bait, press that crimp into the slot, and we like to rig it where the trebles are sitting just how it is right now. The two trebles are on the bottom, the one is coming up off the back. These two keep the bait, or uh, keep the hook stable. And then we're just gonna get our rubber hook retainers right here. You'll grab a couple of these, stretch them out on your fingers like so, run it right up over the tail across the back of the hook, and get it right there in the back. So. We like to run two of these bands on this back treble to keep it in place. And we'll do one more at the crimp connection on the treble hook. Same thing, run it right up and over, right at that crimp connection. So as far as the treble hook goes, that's where the bands are gonna be. On the next one, we'll get another two of these bands and we're gonna stretch it out. And we're gonna run these right up to the jobu. So you're gonna go right up over the tail, just as if you did on the trebles. And then on this jobu, just go straight up and over and then tighten it up on the back of the curvature of the shank right here. And that'll keep it right in place, just as so. And then we're gonna do one more, um, one more tie off. So we'll get another two bands. And this one, you run it down the leader of the line, just like so. Run it down the leader. And then when you get to the head of the bait, you're gonna go right up and over the head, right up and over the loop, and drop it right at that crimp connection. And that's gonna keep it in place. This is probably the area on the bait that gets the most amount of pressure. So you could do two or three bands on that connection right there, and that's gonna keep it down and in. How this hook rig works is when the fish comes up and blows up on the bait, it's gonna grab these hooks and it's gonna snap them away from the whole bait just like so. And that hoop on the on the head is going to keep the bait attached to the line and the bait will get up away from the fish while you fight it's not going to allow the fish to throw it it's going to keep the bait protected and that is essentially how this bait works and how you rig it um, quick little note if the wings get damaged or anything super quick and easy just grab another wing grab your pliers and pull the pin from the slot you'll pull out your wing and throw in a brand new one, drop your pin, and you're good to go. It's really quick, really simple. Um, we've got the patents pending on a couple forms of the technology on the bait. So that's essentially how you rig up the bait. We'll show you the techniques and tackle and stuff like that in the next clip. So thank you.